Yeah. Nick, what are you thinking when you start the game in the pick and ban? Um, well, I just wanted to play a, a comfort pick and someone I, I can self heal if I get dove on by the Kha'Zix or the Mordekaiser. And Ezreal was just one of my best champs to play. I just want to give a one recommend. If you start a game, think about your teammate's skill and your enemy skill, so which is kind of important skills, not not skills like a Galio Q, it's just Galio ECC, Galio WCC, right? Woodier yeah. has a bear form, right? Bear CC. And Vladimir's strong uh, skill combo is when he has R and flash, so E, flash, R combos or jacks with he has ecc jump on enemy uh, enemy for enemy side Mordekaiser pulling you with the e skill right e is dangerous yep. r is dangerous kha'zix uh, when you're solo solo positioning uh, getting q solo q target is uh, a lot of damage it's in, it's dangerous kha'zix r is dangerous because you can't see it Jera's E, which is CC, but W also has a slow, so it is important you need to space correct, and you play against the Lulu, W is important, right? If you get polymo polymonade, or what is the word? The polymorph? Yeah, yeah, polymorph, yeah, yeah. If you get that one, you can't move unless you have cleanse or QSS, and yeah, Vayne, uh, you're gonna lose against the Vayne if you just, just to justify it against the Vayne, right? And when she has Bork, if you just fight 1v1, you're gonna lose it. We can't win against Vayne, but you can win if you poke with your Q skill. So before you start the game, like you're in the game, when you're in the loading screen, think about those uh, important skills. So if I go forward, would I get Lulu W? Something like that. Would I get Vayne E it, with this wall if I move this angle? Okay? Yeah. And level one, can they invade with the uh, Vayne Lulu Kha'Zix? Probably not. Right? I wouldn't think. Yeah. Yeah, probably not. So we are preparing level one. Our team is now watching this. This, watching this the same spot is kind of bad. So uh, what? Just uh, one people go to here for watching invade, right? Yeah. It's better. Keep going, keep going. Your Udir is starting top, so go to the lane. Now you can assume, oh, they leashed it. They leashed blue, Kha'Zix start the bot side. Now we are trying to push the wave, auto. Auto. Galio take it. Trying to kill that one. We could make an angle here. How? If you move... Oh, Huh? You can say it. You're saying I, you say I could have like walked up and looked for a Q on Vayne? Yes, like yes. The lane? Yes, that's it. Uh, you could make an anger this... If you move to this left upside, then you'd go... You, you have an anger for this Vayne Q anger, right? Uh, if there is a, no minions for Vayne, then it's very bad for your positioning, right? Because you're gonna get this uh, minion damage. Uh, let's see here if it, let's say there is no melee minion for vein so you just go for the left side that means you're gonna get this range creep damage focusing to you but right now in vein mindset in his, her mind what does she want to do she want to take this yes right it's so obvious she want to take this is yes it is very obvious that's why you can go for the little bit left side so in that case, you'd have anger for your Q when she takes us, yes. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So you, you need to kind of think that way for using, like, for being aggressive in the lane. If you want to be good at in the lane, you need to be aggressive. So whenever they take us, yes, you're looking for a hit to the enemy AD or enemy support punishment. But uh, sometimes you can't do it if your support is melee and enemy support is range. So you're getting 2v1 trade against the range support, your melee cannot do it, then it's just a situation. You need to decide, it depends on the situation, okay? 
So now we're gotcha. pushing it. Uh, push the wave. Level 2 advantage. Galio could be uh, walked forward here, right? We know this yeah. melee minion is level 2 after this melee minion. So, uh, if you're doing with Galio, you need to tell him if you're not doing, you need to ping, ping to him. Just ping on my way. Go forward. Like, help this bush ping. Help, help. Like, this bush, if you take it, you'd have this angle left side. You'd have right. angle for zoning these three CS if it is able. Like, if you're able to do that, then you'd have a zoning angle, go for the level 2 advantage. You're gonna win it because you're level 2. But now we are way too far. We're just too far. We are even level 2. Vayne Lulu is level 1, but we are not punishing it. Vayne just taking the CS for free. They are just chilling, farming. We're just farming now. You need to think jungle pathing. Like, it's kind of mirroring. If you go back, you're kind of afraid of Kha'Zix here. Uh, he wanted river, right? But if we think yeah. about it again, uh, Kha'Zix is kind of farming champion. Uh, the champion after, like, before level 6, the champion actually cannot gank, right? That's him, that's my opinion, but maybe they can do it, but... Anyway, uh, your jungler is ending bottom, and then enemy jungler started bottom, that's gonna be your jungler end up your bot, like top, top, from top to bot. Enemy jungler from bot to top. So you may, you can maybe save your ward if that Kha'Zix is uh, not strong enough. That he is not strong enough in early game. So if we can just assume he won't be able to gank, so we can just save that ward just in case and in the future we could have deep ward like a grump or middle left side a banana brush or dragon side. And now it's just uh, we do mirroring. Uh, what is the champion? Udir? Yeah, Udir did uh, four camp right now. So we can assume uh, Kha'Zix maybe did 4 camp or 3 camp because Udiri, Udiri is pretty fast, right? Yeah. So he's doing either red or raptor, like kinda slow Kha'Zix. <laughs> when you're taking the CS and when your lane is uh, like this piece, it's very peaceful. Like nothing happened. Then you can calculate and you can think about your jungle pathing and enemy jungle pathing. And now there is a bot crap coming soon, right? So in that in that case, you wanna position left side. Right now you're doing fine, positioning left side. But if you did a position right side, it's just a bad positioning. When you when you or jungler is trying to take a bottom crab, and you're trying to position left side, that means you are not ready to help, ready to rotation fast, right? You can take a CS left side, from left side. Why would you need to be right side? Nothing. There is no reason if you want to be right side. But right now, you kind of position your left side. Galio is also left side, so you are able to help your jungle fast. This position is fine. Because if you're getting pushed in your wave, this a lot, they can just recall, like after pushing this wave, you need to keep thinning the wave. You don't want to get CS under the threat uh, with a fat wave. Keep thin. And if you push the wave, uh, you have a chance. You have a better chance to abuse your WE combo when enemy take the CS. You want to play aggressive, that means you can do WE trade. WE trade, the, the best timing for WE trade is when they take a CS. Last hit. That's the timing, you can hit W and E. Now she uses the tumble. If a vein trying to take this one range is yes, you are able to watch it. You can go move forward here, right now, go forward. Positioning around here. And now, pay attention when this vein take this yes, right? Then that means yep. vein will be stuck this angle. Only can be here, if he should wanna take a yes. In the case, from this position, you can do W, 
and uh, uh, it's up to you we this side or we this downside uh, be careful about the faint condemn in that situation that's how you win trade we are not trading at all with the we your easier is uh, actually a strong champion if you can trade with the we but right now we are trying to just auto or Q. We are just accepting. Uh, yeah, I can just farm. Uh, I'm easier. I'm fine. I am scaling. But you need to think also they have a vein. They have a vein Lulu. Mm, if I can play aggressive, if I can play better than enemy, then I need to play aggressive. Because if we just farm in the team fight, we are we probably not able to kill vein. Tumbled it. <coughs> Again, uh, Galio is a, a little bit far. This positioning. You wanna take a CS? This is CS. That's why Vayne is looking for you. But uh, Galio could be here. I don't know why every support is uh, like so behind for Lulu as well, for Galio as well. If you hit there uh, behind this is so much, they are not able to help each AD carry. Lulu can yeah. be closer this angle. Uh, Galio could be closer this angle. Like when you need to take a CS, support could move forward together because if enemy AD carry trying to harass you when you take a CS, that means your support might be look the enemy AD, right? If uh, Galio was a uh, this close, like if Galio was positioning around here, same position as you, like same line, this is straight line, then Vayne cannot hit you, Vayne cannot tumble. If Vayne tumble and Galio watched it, as soon as she tumbled it, Galio just pressed the E button and, and airborne him, and then taunt with the W. So you're gonna win the trade. Keep in mind that this position is important as a bottom duo. Again, do you see this opportunity? Yeah, I can just yeah, uh, can see look it, right? for WE. Yeah, you yeah. can see it, right? Keep in mind, this is, each chess is your opportunity. Each chess is not running away. You are running away right now. Look at your position. Now you backed away, right? Yep. Yeah, you backed away. You don't have to back away. Why? Because I can just go yeah, in. you can just WE combo and move to the Galio, like worst case, you will run away to the Galio side. And right now, this Lulu position is very uh, passive. She's not playing aggressive. So just play, uh, just trying to poke this vein with your WE combo. Lulu cannot help you. Lulu cannot help vein at all right now, this position. And also, if you can communicate with your support, uh, I'm not sure people can understand this ping, but I usually ping this uh, range minion, uh, just a normal ping, and I'm ping the on my way to the vein. So in that case, people understand she's looking this one CS. In that CS, I'm looking for vein. I use I you normally communicate with the that pings in solo queue, but I'm not sure. This yellow, like low yellow, can understand it. But anyway, if you are do, doing with the mic, then trying to use this knowledge, playing aggressive. Hey, fight on this range clear. Fight on last hit. In that case, yeah. the Galio could be <coughs> same position, same line as you, right? So play Got aggressive it. together. And now Kajix is fighting. Odri is fighting. Are you noticing? I noticed he was fighting. I don't. I thought I looked up there. I guess I didn't. I looked. I saw his health bar wasn't getting low, so I just assumed he was winning. Mm -hmm. Okay, then it was it was good. Like, if you didn't know at all, like zero information, then it's uh, bad uh, acknowledging, right? Acknowledging. We say Mia call. Vayne Lulu goes upside. One thing you can do here. We don't have to be that far, right? Now, my tip is, what I want to say is, you can uh, space your champion, like, 
this angle. You can just uh, take a CS from this line, take this uh, range 2 creeps, and you can show around this vision. Uh, your champion has vision, right? So you might want to show enemy vein rotation with the positioning here. Even if you can't uh, win this 2v2, so you need to just let her go, but at least you can show where the vein goes. Either vein goes left upside or right side. Yeah. With the positioning here, as easier as Galio. But right now, instead of doing that, we backed off so far. So now we don't have any information. We don't know. We have no idea. And then now we Mia call it. Yeah, it's a good thing you did a Mia call, but why would you afraid? Do you understand that spacing? It's kind of spacing and knowing about uh, visions. Like, Vayne cannot punishment. Even if you are staying around here, or showing this vision, this vision, what she can do? What can she do? She gonna tumble forward to you? Then we can just run away, or we can just turn back, initiate with the Galio E and W, everything. Uh, what is she gonna do? She cannot do anything. She can just watching. So, if Ezra position here and Galio position here, just to be together, and if we showed this vision, this vision, it would be easier for everybody. Easier for jungler, easier for you guys. Because right now, we backed off too much. We don't have information, now you're busy. Oh, Miyako, I hope my jungle don't die. Oh, can I walk yeah. this river? Okay, Vayne showed it, I can walk this river. I'm on my way. Now, Odiru is just uh, reactioning like, oh wait, Vayne Ru is here? What? And then, we're ending off fight. Probably winning fight though. Yeah, probably winning fight, but that's my tips for uh, spacing. Like, we don't have to be afraid, then don't be afraid. Just uh, get the minions a little bit forward and give the vision to enemy. Why did you run away that far? He, she has nothing to do, right? And now watch Kha'Zix Kha'Zix is running away so you can go forward right? Yeah. But we are running away too far It's just wrong, wrong spacing We thought the fight is ended but Vladimir is here With the level 10, press the REQ, ignite Vayne could died But anyway of course you didn't hit pain or you didn't help about that situation but just uh, saying this feedback for uh, spacing and kiting you did run away good job good running away from the vein before you get pta before you get silver bolt but after this jump when kajus showed his back you could go forward faster faster yeah you help turn back to him and read the map Oh, Vladimir is here, we could fight here. So here, whenever Vayne failed the tumble auto attack, it is your chance. It is your chance to WE. This Vayne can only go straight left or right. Like straight or left or right, just the only movement. She, she, she doesn't have a tumble anymore. She did an auto attack with a tumble auto attack. Look at this, this guy. You could WE, just a WE right forward. Why would you want a WE left? The, the left is the dangerous stuff to the wall. You're actually going to end up condemned. This is just that we are not thinking about uh, Vayne's condemn. We have a uh, uh, zero reason to go there. Yeah, of course. This turning back and WE, you can make a mistake. It is fine. Uh, and you also going up back backwards right now. You click left, but you don't have to be afraid right now, right? It's a pure 2v2 situation. Your jungler is top, Kha'Zix is top. Vayne just tumbled forward. 
best moment, best situation is you go forward with the W E right side upside. But yeah, it, it is acceptable. You kind of uh, positioning backside, click the once. Even if it is a once, it's gonna be huge later uh, in high yellow. But anyway, this is uh, yeah. It's fine, it's acceptable mistake. But right now, after this, W E left side. Okay, W E left side also acceptable. But also, moving left is unacceptable because moving left side is. I just want to get condemn and die. This moving left and downside is end up with the condemn anger, no matter what. So if you wanted, you wanted the W E left, that means you should go forward. W E, all right, it's acceptable, it is good, but after you done doing that damage, you need to go forward instead of running away. You need to go forward out of the wall, condemn anger. If you went forward, uh, yeah, sure. Worst case, we just lose against Vayne uh, because we didn't hit or Israel Q or Vayne was uh, strong because uh, he has a silver bolt, right? But that's the worst case. If you hit, you may win. But right now, we did the uh, worst worst case. We moved ourselves <laughs> to the wall, so we give yeah. condemn anger. Okay. So we need to think those things like uh, we we said uh, when we start the game, what is the word uh, bad skills? What is important skills for us? We talked about our important skill: Galio taunt, Galio E, Galio R important. And for enemy, Lulu W important, Lulu R important, Vein E very important. But right now we didn't think about it. We go to there, we died. I mean, we didn't die, but we used our flash. We used our uh, summoner so it is very important uh, and uh, yeah we end up this losing flash but it's fine w eq it's okay it's a very small thing it's a very small thing but you did e left to the wall side right yeah we we never want to go to the wall against the vein you can just w e forward here like right right next to, to her her face i guess it is kind of your habit uh you're always clicking the left to the not the war side but you're always clicking left your e so think about your position okay. and i did trolls but... right here yeah, but your E was a bad, and you knew Kha'Zix was here. Yeah, I knew it too. Like, I was thinking I should oh. go to Safeway, but I just didn't. But I assume it is a panic E. Uh, you didn't have to use your E right away, actually. You could just maybe accept your W, like, accept getting Kha'Zix W damage at the moment, but you need to try to walk left side to the wall and then if you E over this wall to the left this Kha'Zix cannot kill you yeah. but yeah, uh, this panic using E end up with a uh, die but it also here you could run away right now because you had a Trinity Force and you got move on speed from Paige Whoa. but you turning that. back Turning back is bad here. Why, why would you auto attack? Sometimes you shouldn't auto attack when it because your auto attack makes you stop. Look at that. You did even WQ. If you didn't just WQ and just run away, you do survive. But right now, you just stopped yourself. So it's a huge mistake. When you wanna run away, don't do anything. If you wanna run run away, just run away. Sometimes. You cannot kite. Sometimes you cannot auto attack because if you auto attack, it stops your movement. If you use your skill, it stops. It stops your movement. It just, it just. That's how it goes. Like when you use a skill, when you use auto attack, then your champion is stopping, even if it's yeah. a one second or zero point five second. Kaji is showing soon. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I was sad. <laughs> 
at least you react kind of fast to react e flash and heal everything here so i would say it was that was a good thing but you knew kha'zix was in mid turret so you're not allowed to be positioned left side you need to use your information everything like from the beginning jaras is bot okay jaras is bot what is who's the player in mid lane right now Fane, Lulu, Mordekaiser, and Kha'Zix. Pretty sure Kha'Zix was there. Yeah, he showed yeah, it. Sure. Right? This this is more information make your positioning better if you use it. But you didn't use this information, which is Kha'Zix, Fane, Lulu mid. And then there's a possibility oh, they I can be not... left side. Right? Yeah, you I didn't see, see him walking. Okay, you didn't see him? No. No, no, it doesn't matter you see he's walking in. You, you, you are not able to see because you're going to lose the turret. You don't have any vision. It's just you need to predict where were they. Where were they? They were in mid. Uh, are yeah. they healthy? We don't know because uh, you, we are not watching that camera here. We don't know, but are they healthy? Maybe if they are healthy, they are able to walk in our jungle. Uh, am I fine? against Kha'Zix and Vayne? Can I position left? No. Right now you're watching Vayne, right? Yep. Uh, you didn't have <laughs> any information because your camera is... You're only watching your uh, CSing and then watching Jerath. We didn't watch at all in mid lane here. Let's say we watched this. And then we can say we watched uh, Vayne no mana but Kha'Zix is full health, full mana. So in that case, you are you could be able to uh, think about, yeah, Vayne no mana, but Kha'Zix is uh, healthy. He can kill me. He can just one shot me. Okay, so I shouldn't uh, position left side because I knew Kha'Zix, Vayne, Lulu, Mordekaiser was left, and then only Jeras, which is weak and which was a half HP, he was right, downside, bottom side. So I should be just position right side, downside, over around here. But we just forgot we didn't use our information we go to the left up and we end up die so you could communicate that situation faint lulu move to there be careful and now they are trying to defend it galu is going in i don't think that's a great angle pay attention jerasar all right so one important thing is are you able to help with the this moving angle? I so think I, I wanted to help. You what what? I just I wanted to help because it like looked good. He got two people with the taunt, so I figured, you know, why not try to help him out mm -hmm. there? But you need to also think about uh, what is the dangerous skill. Like what champion can hit you? Kha'Zix cannot hit you, Mordekaiser cannot hit you because of Galio. But right now, Jeras is charging Q. Jeras is charging Q. Now you got the char charging Q damage, right? So, that means you shouldn't walk just like that. You could make a Q angle with your movement. You, you go up. Up. WQ. This. Right? In that case, yeah. you are also uh, out of the range. Jeras Q, not no range. It is not range. So you are out of the Q range. If you go up, you have a W Q angle. So you are hitting this Mordekaiser. That's your job. You did everything. But right now, instead of doing that, because you sell Galio taunt, I want to hit. We shouldn't play like that. If we are the AD carry, uh, we need to play. We need to think about, can I die? Can they focus me? Because if I go forward, am, am I in dangerous spot? Yes, I am in dangerous spot. Of course, Kha'Zix and Mordekaiser got taunted, it, but Vayne is free and Jersey is free. So they are looking for you. I was in dangerous, it could end up die here. You dodged the last two, two hours, so I, it was good, but trying to think before you damaging trying to avoid those situations before you trying to do the damage on CC you're gonna die 
Everybody always watch enemy AD carry. Everybody.